So I've been working on the ignition system on this uh, Datsun, took it around the block, had the headlights on, parked it, left the headlights on, left the house, came back, and um, the battery was completely dead. I'm pretty sure it bottomed it out. Um, the battery is reading at 12.07. Right now it might start up, I don't know, but I'm going to rejuvenate it. We'll see if it starts real quick and then um, what I'll do is I'm going to take it out, rejuvenate it uh, with the 2A12EX available at teslachargers.com, put it back in and it should be back like new. So you can see that battery is so dead that it won't even start, it won't even turn over once. Um, I'm going to leave the voltmeter on here. This way we can kind of see what the, uh, what it actually bottoms out to when I try to start it. Well, that's what you call the dead battery. All right, so we took the battery out. Um, part number 58 VL, 500 coil cranking amps. Cranking amp 625 at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Some Value Craft automotive battery. I think this is actually a made in Mexico battery that I got at uh, AutoZone or something like that years ago. Yeah, made in Mexico right there. Um, so this battery was trashed and I brought it back like new and then leaving the headlights on, that just trashed it again. Manufacturing date, 310. So this battery's already six years old, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the 2A12EX, uh, available at teslachargers.com. It's a two and a half amp, 12 volt, uh, high speed cap discharge battery and what that's going to do is um, basically uh, rejuvenate it and bring it back. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit make sure the electrolyte is topped up and uh, it'll probably take about 25, 24 hours or so and then we'll put it back in and uh, should start up like new. Alright, so here's this battery, this value craft deal here. So anyway, um, this is resting at 11.92 right now and uh, went down below 9 volts or whatever it was when the uh, starter kicked on and it wouldn't even turn it over, it's so dead. So got it hooked up to this uh, Extreme Charger which is a 2.5 A12EX available at teslachargers.com. These are still on sale right now. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. I'm going to plug it in. Okay, and there it goes. Okay, resting at 12.5, 46, 47. So it's probably going to push it over 16 volts because of the sulfation from uh, running dead like that. And you can hear that thing clicking. That's how fast the capacitor is discharging. And so um, a battery in good shape that you want to charge, you want to bring it to 15.3 if it's a flooded cell which is um, higher than what the uh, industry claims is safe for the battery but that's because they don't know how to do it without boiling the battery to death but removing sulfation is like an electroplating process where it's all about the voltage and it has very little to do with how much current you're running through it because you can bring a one of these flooded cell batteries to 14.8 and you can just boil the hell out of it with a conventional hot current charger and um, it's not going to get any of the sulfation off. You can let it sit there for a week and all it's going to do is boil the battery dry. This is going to push up to about 16 something which is because of the sulfation it's like back pressure for the voltage and that much impedance is going to force the voltage up on the battery and so once it gets over 16 or so little by little it'll start coming down, coming down, coming down into the 15s maybe in the high 18s and when it can sense that that sulfation uh, issue is solved because of how the battery responds to the voltage and what the voltage is going to be at. Um, it's a pretty smart charger. 
and so then what it's going to do is slowly push it right up to about 15.3 and then you got the topping charge green light comes on and it's done and it's back to like new status or at least as good as it's going to be for its own particular condition and you can see this is manufactured in March 2010 and so that's uh, six and a half years um, six and a half years old I don't know how many months this battery is rated at but it's not that big of a battery maybe 36 months or something like that so anyway we'll go ahead and let that ride see what happens I would expect me by tomorrow um, it'll be ready well it's getting close to 10 o'clock at night and this thing is of course still running it's about 14.32 volts right now and so it's going to slowly climb up and at 15.3 it's going to turn off and what this shows is that because this is not pushing it up to 16 it's really not that badly desulfated uh, leaving the headlights on brought it down but it's not a lot of sitting sulfation for a long time so there's not that much impedance which means from about 14.33 right now it's going to slowly push up about to about 15.3 and so what's going to happen is that this is just going to continually push it up we don't have a big sulfation issue it's more of just a uh, uh, charging rejuvenation process and then it'll be back like new so this is actually good news which means the battery actually didn't get damaged that much and for a six and a half year old battery uh, that's pretty good and when the green light comes on I'll put it back in the uh, 1977 uh, Datsun uh, pickup truck, the 620, and it will start right up, no problems. And this thing is going to last for years. You can hear it hammering away. All right, well, it's about noon uh, the following day. You can see it is at 16, so it actually is um, sul sulfated pretty bad from that discharge um, from the headlights. So 16.24, and so if I feel this battery, it's warm, but it's not hot, so this battery is not boiling to death. Um, you can, I don't know if you can hear the uh, charger clicking. that high-speed cap discharge and so what happens is uh, again that sulfation acts like a uh, back pressure to the voltage um, so if you put your foot over a tailpipe while an engine is running you're going to um, have an increase in pressure which is going to increase to the point where it's um, so much pressure that the engine can't turn over against it that's why you can stick a potato in a tailpipe and uh, you either can't start it or you can do that in a running engine and it will um, stall it out. So right here with the uh, sulfation on the plates what that does is acts as a back pressure to the voltage and it forces it up, forces that pressure up. But this is a good sign right here, 16.24 and so little by little by little you actually see the bat battery voltage drop when the battery voltage drops that means you're actually repairing the battery because as the sulfation on the lead plate dissolves into the electrolyte solution it makes the electrolyte solution more conductive which means there's less resistance against the voltage so of course the voltage is going to drop and so I'm just going to monitor this I don't know how how many more hours this is going to run but um, again this battery is from uh, March 2010 so it's uh, uh, six and a half years old so it's pretty good to be able to have this thing uh, bottom out uh, multiple times um, that wasn't the first time and so we're going to see the voltage drop little by little by little and uh, and we'll go from there and bring a battery back uh, to like new status Well, it's about five hours later and we're under 16 volts, 15.94, 15.95, right around that range. And so what we see is it slowly dropping little by little. So this is a good sign showing that the battery is uh, getting repaired. So we'll check back later and uh, see where we got it. All right, well, I had to move this because it's rearranging stuff, but uh, this is about 9.30 the next morning. Um, it took about a day and a half 
it's resting at 12.81 and I have no, no doubt that this is going to start it right up like new and so go ahead and uh, go put it out in the truck and uh, see if it starts see if we save this battery it's this 59 VL battery Ten. Six and a half years old. Alright, well this is actually two days later. First time I had a chance to get the battery back in the car. It's resting at 12.76. I think it was at 12.8 um, after the charger stopped for a whole night. Or when it was done in the morning. Um, so it only dropped by four hundredths of a volt. So 12.76, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the key on and let's see if this thing starts up right away. Yeah, so it's like we have a brand new battery, six and a half years old, and completely rejuvenated.